owning Harry Kane has been a frustrating experience for fantasy Premier League managers at times this season, but nobody was prepared for this. Owning Harry Kane has been a frustrating experience for fantasy Premier League managers at times this season, but nobody was prepared for this. Transferred in by over 100,000 managers, everything seemed to be going to plan as he duly notched against Stoke, before confusion reigned just minutes later. Goal Stoke 1-2 Spurs, 63 minutes, Eriksen scores his second goal of the match as his free kick evades everyone. Can't believe Harry Kane publicly swore on his daughter's life that Eriksen's ball touched him on the way in, and then won an appeal for it. Madness pick.twitter.com slash fbd 37 pggvo the man utd way at the man U way april 12 2018 the men in robes at the aptly named dubious goals panel eventually agreed but it all came too late for over 1.7 million fpl managers to benefit out of talk this morning of harry kane trying to overturn the decision to award christian erickson the second goal versus stoke in the average score this GW is 32, the only lower average in the last five seasons came in BGW 28-19 PTS in 16-17, in which only four matches took place. In GW 29 of 13-14, the average was 29 PTS. That would make this GW the lowest AVG GW in the last 156 GWs apart from BGW 28 of 16 17s, FPL Intellect, at Plintellect April 9, 2018 Harry Kane has now scored 25 Premier League goals this season. Right foot 9 left foot 9 head 6 personal space 1 with a striker hands clapping pick.twitter.com slash jits of vbd's edp j lambda k buckley australia at the master bucks april 11 2018 everyone else breathed a sigh of relief while simultaneously heaping the kind of unrelenting ridicule on the spurs striker man we've seen since the days of john terry philip sake he was my captain those points could cost me our league, Matty Hillis, at Matty Hillis 1, April 11, 2018 Although he certainly took it to new levels, the fact that Kane is obsessed with records and personal achievement won't come as a galloping shock to anyone, what was far more revealing was the reaction of another Golden Boot contender. Tears of joy Tears of joy person shrugging medium light skin tone male, signed, Jamie Vardy, at Vardy 7, April 11, 2018 No, not him. What to do with Mo Salah? Despite being on course to become the all-time leading FPL point scorer, the absence of Mo Salah, Liv, 10.5, against Everton was enough to spook managers into making him the most sold midfielder in the game this week. One expertly taken goal against Man City and a solitary word in a rare personal tweet later, and many were wondering if they had made the right decision. Woo really, Mohamed Salah, at 22 Masala, April 11, 2018 It will be a long goodbye for some, as they comfort themselves by bringing the ghost of Salah into their free hit squad for BGW35 when he faces doomed West Brom. Given Klopp's unapologetic rotation in the 2016 Europa League campaign, it's almost certain that Salah's minutes will be managed in some way, but this may not fully kick in until as late as GW36. Liverpool's place in the top four is not quite as secure as some may think, if Chelsea can win while Liverpool draw over the next three games, hardly unthinkable, even given Chelsea's form, victory in the Paris GW37 clash at Stamford Bridge would give the Blues a shot at securing fourth place in the final game of the season. Having returned an average 9.5 points in home matches this season, the top-scoring player in FPL could ironically become a differential for those willing to go against the grain and captain him this week. Going to Captain Salah, he's the exception to the never captain ASGW player rule. Tears of joy tears of joy tears of joy if this isn't reason enough to own both Kane and Salah, I don't know what is. We have a golden boot battle on our hands. Probably the most exciting thing left to decide this season, biceps biceps https colon slash slash t.co slash relu 29 qcv fplpasq at PASC FPL April 11, 2018 For those who waved goodbye to the Egyptian king, for the time being at least, can now look forward to the feeling of seemingly boundless potential a double game week player can bring. Choosing the best double game week players unfortunately, the excitement of DGW34 won't last long for some managers who have already used their free hit chip, followed as it is by a blank for all DGW teams other than Burnley. Those free hitting this week can roll the dice on Triple Man United cover and have the option of what could be a season-changing differential captain in the form of 3.6% owned Alexis Sanchez Moon, 11.5.
One clean sheet in their last eight fixtures doesn't inspire confidence, but the price is right for Leicester defenders like Ben Chilwell, Lay, 4.4, and Wes Morgan, Lay, 4.4, as they prepare to face Burnley and Southampton, teams who have both failed to muster an average of one goal scored per game this season. In a strange quirk of fixtures, Chelsea also face Burnley and Southampton, and could be afforded one last chance to redeem themselves against the goal-shy sides. Short-term punts on the likes of Pascal Gross, BHA, 6.0, Jose Esquierdo, BHA, 5.9, Chris Wood, BUR, 6.3, and Charlie Austin, SU, 5.8, are also viable options. Charlie Austin The idea that a scorned Christian Eriksen, taught, 9.4, will develop a newfound greed is probably a bit fanciful, but he has been in impressive form, regardless. Quick tip squad rotation will become a factor for teams still involved in cup competitions, look for those red spots in Ben Krellin's latest spreadsheet to see which players could be particularly vulnerable, and when. As promised, here's my updated rest times spreadsheet which shows the number of days rest each team will have between fixtures. I'm assuming that Arsenal will reach the Europa League SFs and that Liverpool will play their semi-final on the two. Pick.twitter.com slash ku 6 Zabarvu Ben Krellin at Ben Krellin April 10, 2018 by after months in the FPL wilderness, early season favorite Romelu Lukaku, Moon, 11.6, has fought his way back into our plans in recent weeks. The consummate flat track bully will fancy his chances against an improving but ultimately hapless West Brom team, as well as a Bournemouth side who haven't enjoyed a clean sheet at home since last November. Try Burnley have recovered their form in recent weeks and are now in the pole position to achieve their first taste of European football for 50 years, unless Southampton win the FA Cup. Ben Mee possibly out for the rest of the season with a shin problem, Kevin Long, BUR, 4.0, has become a bargain basement option for their relatively kind, blank free season run in at a time when team value tends to take a hammering. Goodbye now without a league win for almost three months, there is little to suggest that Stoke will hang on to their Premier League status. Moritz Bauer, STO, 4.5 might be worth holding as an out-of-position cheapie, but without even the false promise of a double game week in the offing, it's time to jettison any remaining potters still lingering around your squad. Top of the league a stellar 51 points, in the context of the week, saw Kevin Fahey and his repeal Madrid side extend their lead at the top of the official Irish Examiner League. Points from Captain Obama Young, Vardy and a long overdue attacking return from Ospaliquita did the business. Still to play his second wild card, bench boost in triple captain chips, a spot in the world's top 10 could yet be in reach. Just one point separates Owen O'Brien and Seamus O'Dowd in second and 